What's up everyone? It's your girl Jazzy Bree and I'm here with another craft video. For today's craft, I have something super super cool that I know everyone will love. And with this craft, you'll definitely be able to channel your inner Beyonce. Today, we will be making these super super cool, sparkly, and beaded microphones. Stay tuned for a special performance by Beyonce herself. If you like it, they should have put a ring on it. If you like it, they should have put a ring on it. Don't be mad when you see that he want it. If you like it, they should have put a ring on it. Whoa, oh, oh. The only things you guys will need in order to make your sparkly beaded microphones are a toilet paper roll, a sparkly Christmas ornament, some Mod Podge and some glitter. I decided to go with the silver glitter just because my Christmas ornament is also silver. A sponge brush, a styrofoam bowl and a plate, as well as your pony beads. I decided to go with the translucent pony beads, but feel free to use the opaque ones or any color beads that you already have. So I have a question for you all and I want you guys to comment below with your answer. So leave a comment below if you enjoy cleaning and doing chores around the house. So I'll probably get zero comments about cleaning and doing chores. But that's totally okay because I don't like cleaning or doing chores either. Since we aren't gonna wanna stop later and clean up our mess and clean up all this glitter, let's just go ahead and make it easy on ourselves from the beginning. So I just went ahead and put a mat and a plate down on my craft table because as we know, that glitter has a mind of its own sometimes. It's gonna wanna fly everywhere. It's gonna wanna fall on the table. It might get on your hands or your face, but the super plate and the super mat are just gonna save the day for us. So go ahead and put something down on your table, whether it's a plate or a mat, so that you can save time on cleanup later. So I'm just starting off by putting a little bit of the Mod Podge into my bowl. And like I've said in previous videos, just go ahead and start off with a little bit of anything because we can always add more later if we need to. And I am the queen of not wasting anything, okay? If we have to spend our money on these materials, we wanna get the most out of it, okay? So I'm just gonna use my sponge brush to dip into the Mod Podge and paint my toilet paper roll so we can glitify it. So I've got about maybe two inches worth of the Mod Podge around there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to sprinkle my glitter. And once I cover that part with the glitter, I'm just going to lightly tap it to make sure that the excess glitter goes ahead and falls onto my plate. And I'm just going to repeat the same technique of mod podging and glitifying until I cover the whole thing. So I want to interact with all of my subscribers and get to know you all a little bit better. So I want you guys to comment below if you enjoy singing, if you enjoy playing a musical instrument, or anything that has to do with music. I just want to see who all out there is a lover of the arts. So I'm just repeating that same technique all around. Glitter is sometimes tricky. Sometimes when you turn the bottle, a lot wants to come out and sometimes a little bit wants to come out. So you do need a little bit of patience. I could definitely use a little bit more of that, but hey. So like I've said before, I am one of the art teachers at a camp called Koinonia and it is run by some of the members that attend Eau Claire Baptist Church. And sadly, it was the last week of camp this week, and I'm just so thankful for the opportunity 
to be one of the art teachers and just to be able to meet such awesome kids and such awesome staff. And you know, I really hope and pray that we were able to impact at least one child's life. You know, that's the most important. It's not about us. It's not about a check or anything like that. It's really about those kids and making sure that they have an awesome summer and that they're just always learning the whole time. You know, it's great to be able to have a break during the summer, but it's also great to be able to strengthen your minds and get as much knowledge as you can. So now that the whole toilet paper roll is glitterified, I'm just gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes and then I'll come back and see you guys. As I said, I let the base of my microphone dry for about 20 minutes and now I'm back to glue on the beads. And in this microphone, you guys can see that I use some pretty purple beads because we all know that purple is my favorite color. But I think on this new microphone, I'm going to use pink. Pink is also another one of my favorite colors and I'm going to glue on the beads in a different pattern. So I'm just gonna get a dab of the Mod Podge, dab, and place it exactly where I want the bead to go. So now that I place my bead, I'm just gonna hold it on here for about 10 seconds. One Jazzy Bree, two Jazzy Bree, three Jazzy Bree, four Jazzy Bree, five Jazzy Bree, six Jazzy Bree, seven Jazzy Bree, eight Jazzy Bree, nine Jazzy Bree, 10 Jazzy Bree. Whew, all right, we can go ahead and take a breather because that was a lot. I'm gonna put two more beads going down the middle. So again, a dab of the Mod Podge, dab exactly where I want my bead to go, and holding the bead on there for about 10 seconds. <laughs> so just repeating those steps to glue on the last bead onto my microphone. And just to fast forward a little bit to the end of our craft, you can always seal in the glitter by painting on some more Mod Podge at the end. Now that will take a little bit more than 20 minutes to dry, probably about an hour to two hours, but it'll definitely help because the glitter won't be loose and when you touch the microphone and use it to sing or whatever you wanna do with it, the glitter won't come off onto your hands or onto your clothes. So here is the pattern that I wanted to do for my new microphone. And I think that this new pattern kind of resembles a real microphone because it has the buttons and kind of like a few places to put your hands. So I like this one too. So we're almost done making our sparkly beaded microphones. And our last step is to just glue our sparkly Christmas ornament on top of the base. We can still use this Mod Podge because the Mod Podge can be used to glue almost anything, I feel like. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter of the toilet paper roll two times just to make sure that it has enough Mod Podge on it. And then you just take your Christmas ornament, place it right on top, and I would say hold it for another 10 seconds. Ooh, wow, somebody over here can't count because I definitely said 10 seconds. So there we have it, guys. Our sparkly beaded microphones are now complete. And after letting them sit for about an hour or so, they'll definitely be ready to help you record your album, your single, your mixtape, whatever you want to do with it. And of course, after an hour, I'll definitely drop the link below to my album. It's going to be called Craft with Jazzy Bree. So stay tuned for that. As always, thank you guys for coming to Craft with Jazzy Bree. And if you already have it, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. I can't wait to craft with you all in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! But some